The Nigeria-Uganda Business Summit, organized by the Uganda National Chambers of Commerce and Industry and the Nigerian High Commission, along with other partners, has sought to address trade issues between the two countries. It brought together business leaders, policymakers, and other stakeholders from both countries to discuss various issues affecting trade between Uganda and Nigeria here in Kampala. Makwadulo with more. Some of the topics discussed included investment opportunities, trade policies, infrastructure and transportation, among others. As Africa, we have to trade amongst ourselves, but how do we make transportation and logistics very convenient so that it enhances the investments? According to statistics presented at the summit, the balance of trade between the two countries is largely in favor of Nigeria, seeing imports from the West African country take over 80% of our trade value. Generally speaking, in terms of political relation, diplomatic relation, cultural relation, we do not have any problem. It is just this economic and trade. And that is why we are trying to emphasize that this is the time for us to wake up from our slumber. Let us bring the two communities together. Let us facilitate for them as, as government officials to come up with legal and technical platform for them to be able to do business together. There have been various challenges hindering the growth of trade between the two countries. Some of these challenges include cumbersome trade procedures, non-tariff barriers and inadequate infrastructure founded on a weak trade agreement. General lack of awareness of the availability of the market in West Africa. Secondly, the cost of doing business between Uganda and Nigeria currently remains very high essentially because of the difficulties in transportation, because of the existence of non-tariff barriers, and because, as we speak right now, both Uganda and Nigeria have not really leveraged on the Africa continental free trade area, which is supposed to create a conducive environment to scale up trade between our two countries. During the summit, both countries agreed to work together to address these challenges and create a more conducive environment for trade and investment. They also pledged to deepen economic ties and explore new areas of cooperation. The main interaction we have with Nigeria is really out of the music and entertainment industry and also the textile and uh, fabric industry. That's the main. And uh, you can see last year, we only had a volume of about only 25 million US dollars. This is just the first step, okay? We are going to organize virtual meetings physical meetings, and we are going to ensure that whatever gains we are coming up with from here, we take it home. The need for both countries to leverage the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement to close the trade gaps and promote intra-African trade was a key highlight. The Ugandan ambassador to Nigeria talked about the experience of a Nigerian company that was trying to get goods into Uganda, having to go through you know, Dubai and through Europe and then to Mombasa and then back to, uh, to Uganda. Um, these are the issues that we have to tackle. Uh, the infrastructure, bridging the infrastructural gap within Africa and opening up you know, our roadways, our railways to allow the free movement of goods uh, within the, the African continent. Wadulo Makanold, UBC News in Kampala.